Welcome to the Brid TV News Bulletin today, Wednesday, July the 16th. We've left the office behind and come out and about here to Silby Hall. So, why are we here? Well, it's because Silby Hall and Gardens has been named the best place in the country to enjoy a picnic in a survey by Warburton's Bakers. It was voted the Yorkshire Regional winner earlier this summer and this week it learned the great news it had won the national competition as well. And who can blame the voters with the beautiful views over the bay and the fantastic surroundings here? A persistent graffiti vandal who struck more than 70 times has been made to clean up his damage. Police gave 19-year-old David Butterworth a conditional caution, which meant he had to scrub the walls all over town rather than go to court. He has apologised and said the punishment has taught him a lesson. Brinton School has taken the final step on its long journey out of special measures. Ofsted inspectors say the school no longer leads significant improvements and is making great strides forward. Head teacher John Wilson said he was delighted with the news but has vowed to make the school even better in the future. Historic Old Town's week-long summer festival saw Marketplace and High Street closed to traffic at the weekend and packed with visitors. Attractions included a food fair, buskers, live dancers and a tug of war between pub teams. The first ever Old Town traditional show held at the Priory was a great success, as was the Flower Festival. Also this weekend, around 2,000 people attended the first Bridenton is Good News event. Held at the Spa and organised by Christchurch to show off all that is best about Bridenton, around 80 exhibitors filled the Royal Hall. Guest of honour was the Archbishop of York, Dr John Santamu. Bridlington and the Free Press went nationwide this week when local hotelier Bob Hillary was interviewed on Breakfast TV. It was part of a feature to show how British resorts were modernising. Bridlington Tourist Information Centre said the phone had been red hot with calls from people wanting brochures about Brid, but other hoteliers said the season so far had been fairly quiet. A turf laying ceremony marked the start of a £17 million state-of-the-art college for Bridlington. Waits Construction, who completed the spa redevelopment, moved on to East Riding College's St Mary's Walk site to start on the new replacement building, which should be completed in about a year. Thank you for watching. We'll leave you with some images of Silby Hall, the best place in the country to enjoy a picnic.